Hey guys, so today I'm doing another Sims 4 World makeover video and today we are doing the Pancake Household. So truth be told, I've actually never played as the Pancake Household. Um, I've heard a lot of things about them. They're kind of like one of the poster households for the Sims 4. Everyone knows about them. Um, but I've actually never played as them, so when I was renovating and uh, redesigning them, I thought this was quite interesting because I never even knew their story. So basically, if you don't know the Pancake household, Bob Pancakes is a slob, but he wants to be a chef, and Eliza Pancakes is his wife, and she seems like a bit of a gold digger, um, but I think she's with the wrong guy. So yeah, that is the basis of their relationship, and I think that's kind of interesting. So. When designing The Sims, um, naturally I spent a lot more time on Eliza than I did Bob. I feel like Bob doesn't really care so much about his um, appearance compared to Eliza. Um, but yeah, so I just spent a lot of time on Eliza, making her look like the kind of gold digger that she is, so she tries to look nice. Um, and then with Bob, I kind of just like tried to elevate his look, but not really. Um, and obviously I had to keep his classic red dressing gown for his um, bedtime clothes. Um, but yeah, so not much of a makeover in terms of the actual household. Um, the actual house decorating, that was interesting because when I first got in here, I was like, you know what, this is a pretty okay decorated house. Like at first I was like, do I even want to change anything? But then I was like, no, I have to do something. Um, to spruce up the place and make it look nicer. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, I decided to take the approach of like, okay, well, um, even though they're not that well off, I want them to seem like they are in some aspects. So I started with the dining room and the dining room is like really fancy compared to the rest of the house. But in my head, I'm thinking, well, Bob's a chef and Eliza's kind of a gold digger and so she wants to show off to people and what better way to do that than to host fancy dinner parties and just make Bob cook for everyone because he's a chef. So that's the kind of theme that I was going with. The dining room is very fancy. Uh, I wouldn't say I gave the rest of the house the same kind of treatment because obviously they don't have a lot of money but they have some. Um, just that Eliza spent to give the appearance that they're doing well and are better off. Um, so that's kind of like the vibe I was going for uh, and also when I was um, decorating the upstairs I thought it was kind of interesting that they have um, very different bedrooms there's like two bedrooms and one of them is very masculine and the other one is quite feminine so in my head I was thinking very his and hers now I know they're married but in my head I'm like sometimes Eliza gets annoyed with Bob so she kind of just um, you know like makes him sleep in the other room so I kind of needed the a darker room more of like a masculine kind of man cave sort of thing and then the other bedroom is very like feminine and light which is where Eliza would sleep because you know she thinks she's the queen um so yeah I really like went for it with the stereotypes of the two people and just sort of made that their house um but yeah so Overall, I was actually really happy with this makeover. When I first went in, I know I didn't really do much to the downstairs, but I feel like the upstairs got a really big upgrade. For example, I feel like Bob's new bathroom, well, not really Bob's, but like the second bathroom looks really great. And then with the other bedroom, which I sort of deemed more to be Eliza's bedroom, it's like more posh and fancy. But yeah, so that is my makeover of the Pancake Household. Um, originally, like I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I am quite happy with the way it turned out in the end. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you guys have any ideas for like other sims and stuff that I can create for this series, then let me know. Um, in case you guys didn't know, this is a series where I I have decided to decorate every lot on The Sims 4 and if there's no families living in existing houses on The Sims I also create those for them uh, so let me know if you guys have any ideas for Sims we could move in um, and yeah uh, like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye guys